Hi guys, here's part two, I guess, or you can just call it the text example of the creation myth. By now you should have watched this video. If not, make sure you watch this creation myth video from YouTube right here. This video that I'm recording right now is me reading The Old Man and the Creator, <clears throat> which is an example of a creation story. So it's traveling to form the world. And it's called Old Man and the Creator. It's from this book right here. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's called In the Beginning. Creation stories from around the world. Told by Virginia Hamilton. Illustrated by Barry Moser. So there's nice pictures. This is the old man in the story. You can sort of see it. Right there. So it looks to be a Native American story. So it's very, it's a pretty short story, so we're going to get into it right now, and then I'll go into how this is a creation story. Old Man the Creator. He was out there, traveling all over and making things. Old Man. He had been south and was on his way north. He created the birds and animals as he went. He made prairies always traveling north, and mountains. They say that first he made timber and brushland. He put red paint in the soil, and he formed rivers and waterfalls. He was making the world that stands here today. He formed the river called Milk, the Teton. Then he went across it. He was getting tired, so he climbed a hill and he lay down to take a rest. Old man stretched out on his back on the hill. He lay his arms straight out from his shoulders. He had Stones to outline himself, marking him from his head to his feet. Those stones are right there where they marked him, even today. After a good rest, old man again headed on to the north. He stumbled once and fell. There was a knoll there. It brought him to his knees when he tripped. You are something bad to be stumbling on, said old man. He raised two buttes there large ones, and he named them the knees, which they are still called today. He went on, and he carried more rocks. There he used to make the sweet grass hills of Montana. Old man decided one day that he would make a mother and her child. He formed them out of clay. He molded the clay in the shape of humans, and he spoke to them. You will be people, he said. He covered up the clay shapes and went away. Next morning, old man went to the place, taking the covering off the shapes. They seemed to have changed just a little. The morning after that, the shapes had changed some more, and the next day they were different still. On the fourth morning, old man went over and looked at the shapes that were images of people now. Rise up, walk, one man old man told them, and they rose up and started walking. They, the woman and child, and their maker, walked to the river. My name is Napi, he told them, which means old man. The woman looked at the water and said to old man, tell me, how will it be? Will we live always? Will there be no end to our living? Well, I haven't ever thought about it, old man said. We'll have to decide. Let me take this buffalo chip and throw it in the river. If it floats, then people will die. But they will die for only four days. Four days after they die, they will live once again. Then old man said this. If the buffalo chip sinks, then there will be an end to people's lives. He threw the chip in the water. It floated. The woman bent down and picked up a stone. No, she said. Let me throw this stone in the river. If it floats, we will live forever. But if it sinks, we will feel sorry for one another that we must all die. The woman threw the stone in the water. It sank. So you have chosen, said old man. There will be an end to people. The old man is an origin story, a folk myth of Blackfoot, of the Blackfoot American Indian people. The creator, old man, comes from the south and is on his way around as the story begins. 
It is as if he walks down through the ages, shaping and making his creation as he goes. The earth is not quite formed or finished, and, and old man finds there is much for him to do to make it ready for people. In this story, woman is the spoiler. She throws a stone which sinks. Thus, people will die and feel sorrow and pity for one another. So that kind of goes, uh, if any of you are familiar with the Adam and Eve story, that creation story, how Eve is kind of considered the spoiler of Eden because she's the one who eats the apple and makes Adam eat the apple, and therefore they're banned and they're cursed away from Eden, and so they must live and age and die. While if they had not eaten the apple, they would have lived forever. So in this, old man is the god of the story, if you will, and he took days to create this world. And instead of creating a man and a woman, he created a female and a child, which is interesting. And she, he created them from clay. But also it was still the woman to decide in a way whether people live or die. But in a way, it's kind of the same as his, but hers... She just chose a rock instead of, you know, a buffalo chip, which he chose. And her, the only difference was that living forever without death or dying. But she added a nice little, but the people will mourn them, which is nice. It's an added sort of thing of instead of uh, the buffalo chips uh, sinking. Um, and then it just people's lives end. But adding that little aspect of mourning, that's kind of adds a nice aspect to it, if you will. So, that is a creation story. It talks about a figure or a god or whatever you'd like to call it, creating the earth and also creating people, which also has to do with animals. It didn't mention man um, animals in here, but some creation stories do. Um... And yeah, it cre it talks about creating the earth, which is all about creation stories a lot of the time. It's creating the earth, creating man. All right, so that is the example. If you, I will show you guys links in the upcoming days. I think tomorrow's video, you'll get links maybe. Friday. You're gonna get links soon. I don't know where I put this. Yeah, tomorrow, sorry, right here. I will put a link in that will have a list of stories and links to get to those stories for examples. And you can also choose to find your own creation myths if you don't like any of the choices that I give you. All right, so these are the, read through all of them I suggest just so that you can find one that you like enough to do the analysis and creative project on them. So. I'll talk more about that tomorrow. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the reading and we will, uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, I guess. All right. Have a good one.